You know what? Let's let's look at how to make a Slender Man film. You know, okay. I'm really because I'm really wondering for our next Stuck with Team production. I was thinking maybe we go more a more horror route, and uh, Slender Man seems right up our alley. So. Uh, good, 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 good. Oh, no. I think that'd be good for sure. So, how to make a Slender Man film? Most of you out there are dying to make a Slender Man movie. You oh, are yeah. in luck. You Just know, follow these. Most of you back in 2013. <laughs> yeah, when this article was written. Yeah, uh, I will show you how to make a good Slender Man movie. <laughs> good. All right. Step one, write out a script. It will take long, but will also help you. Really, a script will help you when making a movie. It mm. sure will. I learned it's that good. Hard. Yeah, actually, um, not to derail this too much, but this is relevant because back in the day, um, like Apple Dog Studios, kind of when it was like starting to die off, one of the ideas I had for a short film, and, and I don't think it's a bad idea, um, but it was like just to kind of recreate Slender. It was you know less of like a, a good idea, like um, cinem- cinem- cinematographically, um, <laughs> and more like it was just something that'd be a fun project but to recreate like the slenderman game in uh like in film like we'd have someone go around with the gopro and they'd have a flashlight we could like put the notes on trees um and like yeah i think that'd be kind of fun to do so you know yeah, maybe we yeah. can learn how to do it with this yeah yeah that'd be fun yeah oh yeah exactly yeah like this Let's see hopefully they'll show us um step two write your own story about him Oh, I can't just steal someone else's? All right, let me just delete the first draft. Then. Yeah, start it. I mean, there's not that many stories you can write. It's all already on preview files yeah. or whatever. What if he finds nine pages this time instead of eight? Yeah, it's hmm. like, but what if he's even spoopier and has other, a side Slenderman that helps him? What if him? he has a red tie on? Oh, hey oh. Um, You and your friends might have a story about Wait, him already. So what, if he's a, that... what if he's actually the good guy, you know? Oh, a twist. Know, Slender. A twist. Flip we'll the world Slender. upside down, you know? What about a prequel story? There you go. What if it's actually daytime instead of nighttime? Ooh. I think that was like the, the twist ending of a Slender game. If you beat it, you could play in daytime mode. Oh, yeah. You could experience that lush environment in the daytime. Yeah, and it definitely was with, uh, not programmed to be played in the with, daytime, let me tell you. With nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, pretty Good much. Good job. Uh, step three. Think of the roles. Who is the actors? Who is the oh, director? Who's think of the roles? Producer? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is so bad. Who is the actors? Who is the director? Who is the producer? I feel like this is like literally how Apple Log Studios made stuff. It's like, okay, uh, okay, good. Think of a story. Okay, we got uh two kids or uh, like five kids outside. They see a killer. There's a dead body. They have to kill the killer. Killer's actually alive in the end. Boom, done. Check, please. But then you have um like okay, uh, we'll be the actors. Who's the director? Oh, I'll be the director. Okay, who's the producer? What's the producer? Was... Yeah, they all. Oh, we'll just put that title in there, anyways. I'll be a producer. It's, it's like the directors usually produce. Yeah. So, so. All right. Um, uh, step four: choose legal areas to film. You don't want to go near an area that is illegal. You don't need a, you don't need legal places to film. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, anyways, um, you don't want to go near an area that is illegal, even though it's good. Try choosing areas like in a wooded area, school, foggy streets, and your very house. Uh, yeah, I love this this writing. It's very stylistic. Try choosing areas like in a wooded area. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, this is like the the most basic brainstorming. Like yeah, like I'm sure you've been wanting to create a Thunderman film. Well, this is what you do. Think of the roles. Think of a story. And yeah, this is like uh, this is the common sense stuff. Like of course yeah. everyone's gonna know. Like, like, okay, like, a wooded area five. would be good. Yeah, no shit. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, it's like stuff like get your cameras. Like oh no, we can't just shoot yeah. this on nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Get your camera. Boy, filmmaking is a lot harder than I thought. You just kind of uh, start from scratch here. You need to have cameras, cheap ones, old ones, new ones, as long as it can take a long-lasting video. Yeah, I like this is plural cameras. Like, yeah, you need to have camera. Like, you know, you really don't. You, you can get away yeah. with just the one. Trust me. Um, but yeah, yeah, as um, long as it can take a long-lasting video. Uh, because you know you need your your slender tapes to be make sure it takes moving pictures. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what long lasting video is supposed to imply. You know you can't edit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Step six: Create a Slenderman costume. What is a Slenderman movie without a Slenderman? <laughs> Use see-through white mask and wear a black tux. <laughs> Try using the tallest person in your group. Also, study the characteristics of Slenderman. He is slow walking. He just stares at you until he gets you. Well, that's all you really need to know. He just stares at you until he gets you. All right, then. Oh, this yeah. is going to be an interesting case study on Slenderman, then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure is. Well, hey, you're the tallest one in our group, so you got to be Slenderman. Oh, oh, great, yeah. Slenderman's 5'8". Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Step seven is to film the movie. Ah, oh, uh, well, okay. you know, we can probably that skip that one. We'll save that one for the end. 
we can save that step for the end, really. That's just an optional one here. Yeah, well, that's my problem. You know, like, all these times I try to do it, this is the one step that I missed. You know, I got my cameras, I thought about the rolls, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Found locations. <laughs> Uh, and then when it came woods. time to yeah. and when it came time to end the movie, it's like, well, like, actually, hmm, I'm at a, I'm at a stuck here. You can't, you can't really do anything. I, I must have missed a step, but I can't tell which. So. <laughs> Every movie I, I make ends in a failure because for some reason I'm missing a crucial step. I love the description for number seven though. Like these are all really funny when you break it down, but this one is yeah, like, Finally, we can start the filming. Try to use a lot of action. We don't want to make it too boring. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even good fil- filmmaking advice. It's just kind of like yeah, like. Like, more action means more people want to watch. Like, yeah. uh, you don't want to try, like, having a slow pace scene, at least? We just, like, no. give, give them a little tip. Like, yeah, you know, it's not going to be interesting unless there's no, uh, unless there's a bunch of action. Yeah, just, you know. no one wants to see people talking. Ugh. Yeah. Well, it's almost like they, like, they're, um, thinking that, like, someone wouldn't put any action in it. Like, no, yeah, definitely, uh, usually it's the opposite problem with low-budget stuff is people want too much action and not enough, like, any other scenes, so. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Uh, and then finally, well, actually, maybe not finally, uh, step eight. Edit the movie. Got Windows? Use Movie Maker and do the music editing, titles, credits, etc. What if I don't have Windows? <laughs> now this whole fucking thing. Oh, about. man. <laughs> what do I do now? I can't use WikiHow. Guess you're out of luck. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, got Quick Windows, time video exists, editor. but I'm not going to do the research to tell you. Like, I'm not going to add a second. <laughs> yeah. These descriptions. Like, yeah, I had to come with, like, got Windows. That's all you need, really. It's, <laughs> anything else? Yeah, whatever. You're screwed. Do the music editing titles, credits, etc. Yeah, like what? What's etc? There's really nothing else besides those. <laughs> Number nine. Burn the movie. If it's terrible, you'll probably want to burn it and make sure no one ever sees it. Yeah. Oh wait, different burn. Okay. After you edit the whole thing, save it and burn it onto a disc. Post it on YouTube and see how much people love it. <laughs> and then maybe it could be in the theaters. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Someone get that man's head out of the clouds. I love how the order it's in is when people love it. Then it'll be in theaters. And then you can email it to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> email them pirated copies. <laughs> Work against the theaters. Yeah, like, after it's in the theaters, then send it to your friend. Like, they'll probably enjoy it. Yeah, see how much people love it. Because they're it not going to want to pay to see it. <laughs> is that, I don't think it's ever happened in the history of YouTube that someone's posted a movie on YouTube and then it went in theaters. Um, yeah, unless, I mean, only unless it was, like, a very select, limited release, um, or, like, at a film festival that, but, I mean, I don't know, even that, yeah. you know, it's like, eh, stretching it, but, yeah, I don't think it's ever happened. Set yeah. 10, enjoy the film, mm. which this guy in the picture clearly seems to be doing. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, uh, spitting, and, like, shaking oh, his fist. Oh, it's the best slender film ever, look at that <laughs> guy. Yeah, it's gonna be in the theaters in no time, man. Ah. 